welcome to Building the Body Beautiful. The purpose of this workout is to tone and define your stomach and legs. These exercises work equally well for men and women. But before you begin this program, it is essential that you get clearance from your physician. Each of these workouts is cardiovascular. So not only will you be looking better, but you should be feeling better too. We want you to enjoy yourself as you build a stronger, healthier body. For the stomach exercises, all you'll need is the floor. Make sure you have some padding for comfort. For the legs, you'll need a barbell or a pair of dumbbells and a sturdy chair. You may want to pause your tape between sets to catch your breath. That's fine and we recommend it, but pause only long enough to catch your breath. Any longer and you won't be working your muscles to their full potential. We'll be demonstrating the exercises at various levels of difficulty. It's always better to begin slowly. Choose the level that feels comfortable to you. Don't get discouraged and remember, your stamina will improve as you get stronger. Before starting any kind of workout, you must first warm up the muscles. It is actually a very good idea to warm up three or four minutes on your own before beginning this tape. You can do side bends, back stretches, run in place like Jeff is doing, skip rope, or ride an exercise if you have one. I'll do some back stretches. When you feel warm and you don't feel any stiffness, you're ready to begin. The stomach requires a lot of work and we encourage you to do this routine every day. Unlike other muscles which need a day's rest after a workout, the abdominals can and should be exercised daily. Make yourself comfortable on the floor. We've put together all the exercises into a routine. We'll explain each exercise in detail at the end of the stomach workout. Try to stay with us, all right? Here we go. Sit-ups, and one, two, three. Keep your abdominals pressed against your spine and exhale on the way up. Five, six, seven, eight. Don't drop to the mat like Diane's doing. Keep your abdominals flexed on the way down. 12, 13, 14, and three, 17, 18, 19, and 20, hand slides. One, and two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep your shoulders off the floor as you slide your hands over the top of your knees. 12, 13, 14, 15, lift, lift. 18, 19, and 20. Crunches. One, two, and three, and four, and five, six. Exhale as your elbows touch your knees and crunch. Crunch. Breathe. Squeeze those abdominals. That's great. 17, 18, 19 and 20, and stretch. Peter Pans and one, two, three, push it. Good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other leg. 12, 13, 14, 15, breathe. 18, 19, and 20. Crunch, twist, and one, two, three. Keep the small of your back pressed firmly into the floor at all times. Seven, eight, nine, 
10, abs tight, 12, 13, 14, breathe, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, bicycles, 2, 3, 4, push it, 7, 8, 9, breathe, 12, 13, good, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Hands under your hips for leg raises. Lift, three, keep your buttocks tight, five, six, good, eight, nine, exhale, 11, 12, 13, keep your abdominals tight, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Leg extensions, and one, two. Press the small of your back into the floor. Five, six, keep your buttocks tight. Eight, nine, 10, 11, exhale, 13, 14, push it now, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Great, you've done it. But before we get up, let's stretch out the lower back. Now we'll demonstrate each of these exercises. We'll start with sit-ups. Keep your feet on the floor with your knees bent. You may need to put your feet under the sofa or a barbell. Beginners, keep your hands by your sides. Intermediate, cross your arms at your chest. And advanced, keep your hands behind your head with your elbows back. Before you begin, tuck your chin to your chest and keep the small of your back pressed into the floor. Exhale as you sit up and inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Next, we'll do hand slides. In the same position, place your hands on your thighs. Keep your arms extended and locked into place. Then slide your hands up and over your knees, lifting the shoulders off the floor. Be sure to keep your arms straight and locked as you lower your shoulders to the floor. For crunches, keep your knees bent, lift your feet off the floor, and lock your hands behind your head. Bring your elbows forward to touch your knees. Be sure to exhale on the way up. Let's stretch out our bodies and take a deep breath. Jeff will be demonstrating the next exercise. They're called Peter Pans, but they're not as easy as they sound. Place your arms by your sides, but keep them off the floor. Bring your left knee into your chest and lift the right leg about six inches off the floor keeping the knee straight. Exhale as you lift your shoulder blades off the floor. Inhale as you lower. Switch legs and repeat the exercise. For crunch twists, bring both knees in with your hands behind your head. Keep your elbows open and back as you twist your torso to touch your right elbow with your left knee. Now your left elbow to your right knee. Keep the upper body high enough to really touch those knees. Shoulder blades should be off the floor at all times.
for bicycles. The movement is the same as crunch twists. Only kick your free leg out straight as though you were riding a bicycle. Before we do leg raises, take another stretch and a deep breath. Okay, now place your hands under your hips, extend your legs, making sure your knees are slightly bent and your lower back is pressed into the floor. Inhale, now exhale as you lift your feet to a 45 degree angle. Inhale as you lower your feet, but don't let them touch the floor. Keep the movement smooth and rhythmic. For our last stomach exercise, we'll do leg extensions. With knees and ankles together, draw your knees into your chest, then extend your legs straight out, keeping your feet about six inches from the floor. These eight exercises make up your stomach routine, which you should do every day. Now I'm gonna show you the proper way of getting off the floor. The first thing you should do is to roll over onto your side, then onto your hands and knees. Now, stand up slowly, keeping your knees bent, and slowly straighten your back. Now we're ready to work the legs. Although the muscles in the upper leg are considered to be the most powerful in a body, the knee is all too frequently a weak link. If you have any problems at all with your knees, check with your doctor before proceeding. Otherwise, let's begin. Deep knee bends work the entire leg as well as the buttocks. A sturdy chair will help you keep your balance. Stand with your feet about shoulder width apart. For beginners, bend your knee about halfway down. For the more advanced, Go all the way down until your buttocks touch your heels. Now we're going to do two sets of ten. Let's go. And one, two, three, four. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Seven, eight. Buttocks tight. And. Ten. You might want to pause your tape here, just long enough to catch your breath. Okay, now let's do our second set. And bend. Two. Three. Four. Buttocks tight. Six. Seven. Keep your back straight. Nine. And ten. All right, let's rest for a moment before we do lunges. Depending on your level, these can be done with or without weight. With your feet shoulder width apart, lunge forward until your back knee touches the floor, then return to a standing position. We'll do one set of 10 reps for each leg. And one. And lunge. Four. Inhale on the lunge. Six. Seven. Exhale as you push back. Eight. Nine. And ten. Other leg now. Lunge. Lunge. Fourteen. Keep your back straight. Fifteen. Buttocks tight. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Just two more. Nineteen. And twenty. Let's get on our hands and knees now for the next exercise, which works the back of the legs and the buttocks. Draw your right knee into your chest. Then kick your leg back as far as you can. We'll do 10 with each leg. Are you ready? All right, let's begin. And one, two, three, 
Inhale as you pull your leg in. Exhale as you push your leg out. Seven. Eight. Buttocks tight. Nine. And ten. Other leg and one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Breathe. Seven. Keep it tight. Nine. And ten. Let's roll onto our side for some inner thigh work. Resting on your elbow, lift your upper leg and keep it locked in position. Now raise your lower leg until your ankles touch, then lower it to the floor. We'll do 10 on each side. Are you ready? Let's begin. And lift, lift, three, four, five, six. Buttocks tight and squeeze, nine and 10. Other side. For women especially, the inner thigh requires lots of work. And one, two, three, four, five, squeeze, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ease onto your back with your feet apart and your knees pressed together. Push with the shoulders and the soles of your feet, lifting your hips as high as you can and keeping your back straight, squeezing the buttocks on the way up. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. We'll do 20 in this position and 20 with your legs apart. Are you ready? Let's begin. One, two, lift, four, keep your knees pressed together. Six, seven, buttocks tight, squeeze, squeeze, 10, 11, 12, exhale, 14, 15, make them burn, 16, 17, squeeze, 19 and 20, knees apart and lift, lift, squeeze, four, five, keep your buttocks tight, six, seven, stay with us, eight, nine, 10, squeeze, Flex them hard, 13, and lift, lift, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, and 20, good work. Carefully roll onto your side, onto your knees, and let's stand for calf raises. Beginners stand flat on the floor. More advanced can use a block of wood. Hold onto a chair and place one foot behind the other. Keep your knee locked and raise up on your toe as high as you can. We'll do 20 with each leg. One, two, three, and up. Stretch it on the way down. Six, seven, remember to breathe, and eight. Nine, lift, lift, 12, 13, 14, keep your buttocks tight, back straight, and lift, 17, 18, 19, and 20, heel on the floor, and stretch, stretch, other calf, let's go, and one, two, three, nice and high, five, six, lift, lift, nine, ten, 11, 12, back.
back straight. 13, 14, keep your buttocks tight. Lift, 17, push it, 18, 19, last one, 20. Now stretch out that calf. Really feel the stretch. Oh, that's great. That's it for the legs. For our cool down, pull one knee into your chest, and then the other. Put your knees together and let them fall to one side, and then the other. Stretch your body out with your hands over your head, and take a deep breath, and relax. Remember to work your stomach every day and your legs at least three times a week. Watch your diet and be sure to do our other workouts for arms, chest, shoulders, and back. Stick with us because now you're on your way to building the body beautiful. Wait, there's more building the body beautiful. Now that you've finished working the stomach and legs, you can make it happen for the rest of your body. Continue your workout with the cassette that works the arms. Bicep, the tricep, and the forearm. And it is as effective for women as it is for men. Join bodybuilders Jim Yont with Diane Marin and Jeff DeYoung for more personalized video instruction. A little higher than shoulder level. The cassette chest, shoulders, and back features exercises which strengthen the lower back and build the upper body. Now roll over onto your side. Work out your entire body. Watch the complete series to build, tone, strengthen, and define the major muscle groups. If you do these exercises at least three times a week, along with our other workouts, and you're sensible about your diet, you will see results. Building the body beautiful. You can make it happen. <laughs>